Hello and welcome back. My name is Clara and today I'm going to be using some products that they're not necessarily new products but they are new products to me and I wanted to feature them. And one of the products is Anastasia by Beverly Hills, the Riviera palette. I saw this palette and I was like, that's such a beautiful, beautiful palette. It has a roll of mattes and a roll of shimmers and it's just a beautiful all around palette. I also have uh, the, by Pop Beauty, I have their Velvet Powder Base in the color Fair. It's not a little light for me, but to set my under eyes, I like a pressed powder also. I also have by Makeup Revolution, I have their Strobe Highlighter and Gold Addict. And it is just a beautiful goldy highlight there. So we are going to start off with my eyes today, only because I don't know how much fallout I'm going to have. So I am going to apply my e.l.f. Putty primer, and I always apply that with a concealer brush just to cancel out any discoloration on the lids. So, dipping into the Riviera palette, it does have its own little brush here that I will not be using today. So to start off, I will be dipping into Coastline. It's in the pan, it looks like beautiful peachy color. Um, it's a little more sheer, but it's still a nice color. There is kickback in the pan. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm just going to run this through my crease. Okay, so that is coastline applied to my crease. And then to darken up the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Palm, just a dark chocolate brown shade that we have, but it's very pigmented. And I'm just gonna tap that onto the outer third of my eye, working it in both sides. And then I'm going to take one of my blending brushes and then just buff that in to the other color that we have there. Working this brown in, and I am getting some patchiness. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that right there, but I am getting some patchiness with, with this color in particular so I'm using more of a padding motion to build it up on my outer and then um, I'll take it from there and see what I can do with it okay so we're gonna stop there with that and then I am gonna go into one of these shimmer these shimmers here and I think I want to go in with Yacht and see what I can do with that. It's a beautiful little bronzy type color, gorgeous. And again, I'm gonna 
use my ring finger and oh yeah wow that is gorgeous and it's just applying effortlessly wow that was a tongue twister this early in the morning And I'm even gonna use that color just to cover up some of that chocolate color that we added to the outer third. And I'm gonna do the same to this eye. So pretty. So I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used at first and I'm gonna go into Monte Carlo here. It's like a pink, pinky, peachy color kind of goes with the tones of my shirt here it does pick up really nicely and I'm just gonna put it where I had that brown and I'm gonna work it into the crease yeah that's nice it's giving off a little bit of pink hue over here by itself but it's working over that brown color that we had already set. Okay, so that's what I have going for the eyes. Mascara is going to just bring everything together for me. So I am going to go off. Not off. I am going to do my base now. I already added my primer and my moisturizer. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. BB cream in the color buff. And I'm just going to apply that. So that's the base right there. I think gotta bring it down my neck. And for concealer today, we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in light nude. And I'm just gonna apply some. Okay, so to set my concealer, I am going to go into the Pop Sugar, and it is a pressed, and I'm going to take my sponge, I'm going to pick a little bit up on it, and now I'm going to press that powder in, and it is giving me a really nice smooth under eye feels nice and smoothing and we'll see how that wears throughout the rest of the day okay so that is my final look for today using my Anastasia palette the pop sugar powder and the Rev makeup revolution Okay, so just real quickly, I don't know what happened to the footage of me using the highlighter. This palette, it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to uh, create more looks with this palette. 
So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for clicking. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Until next time. Bye.